Hey, I'm back with another Firewood project and here I'm marking out how this project will look like and this is the perfect example. Life doesn't always go in our favor and this plan will completely change. Well, not completely, but definitely will have a different shape. Using my trusted 5 minutes, 2 parts epoxy resin to secure the piece onto my waste block. You don't need too much um, weight on it, you don't want to squeeze out the resin and uh, weaken the bonds. Um, so I only use my chuck, which is probably quite heavy as well. Um, and waited 24 hours to allow the resin to cure before it could go on back on the light and start shaping. Running the lights on the slower speed around 500 RPM and using my ball gauge to kind of get the, the initial shape before I can move on to some, some lighter tools to kind of get the, the final shape. So I picked up this black locust um, logs a couple of uh, months ago, actually last year at some points. Um, so it had some time to dry, it didn't develop any crack, this was one of the smaller um, cut off pieces from, from bigger, a bigger log and I sealed it with some PVA glue and then let it dry um, over the winter going into summer and still didn't develop any crack and now I thought it was the right time to get this in the light and let's see what we can turn out of this piece. The reason the tree was cut down, it started to rot from, from the bottom and it was right next to a main road so it, didn't, it wasn't safe to, to leave the tree there so the arborist um, cut down the tree and it was going to go into firewood um, but then I was able to pick up a, a few logs from, from the tree and I'm rather pleased, I always like projects where I can, I can give a different meaning and new meaning to a piece of wood and, and luckily this turned out definitely a good save. This is one of my new carbide tool, as you can see it has a very small cutting tip um, but don't be fooled by this little little fella, it actually cuts extremely well, it's super sharp and um, considering it's a very small cutter in a, in, a, in a world of carbides it removes a lot of materials at the same time, works extremely well on, on wood. If you remember at the beginning when I was gluing the waste block um, onto the bottom um, there was a big crack um, going along um, the lock starting from the bottom and it was rather wide and deep so here I'm trying to shape in a way the crack kind of hidden um, but as you can see there is still a large part of the crack is still, is still visible it probably is not even a crack because it looks like there is a bigger chunk of wood missing there so probably when I cut the bigger log uh, into smaller pieces and then as I said this is one of the upcuts um, it could just, just broke out a small piece which then is causing a little bit of a headache here but eventually I was able to remove enough materials from the bottom um, and you will see when I'm parting this um, vase off from the waste block I will leave a good inch or two centimeter um, extra meat on the waste block just to ensure that I don't have that, that void in my final piece. On to some finishing touches with my negative rake scraper, this really helps to remove uh, some of the tool marks and on to working on the insides. So this bark um, slash burr on this side of the 
the project was a slightly loose so I secured it with some some duct tape just to make sure as I'm hollowing this piece it won't break off or it won't um, come apart completely so just a little be on a safe side And due to having this loose bark slash uh, burl on the outside, this again I had to change my initial plan and I gone with um, another glass inset. So I will drill a 38 mil hole all the way to the bottom. And luckily, the the project is tall enough to accommodate one of my uh, glass tube. And you can see that is just the perfect size when all drilled out I used a little bit of tape to kind of mark how deep I can go into and when I do the final measurements you will see at the bottom we still have the perfect thickness to accommodate the glass tube I left about an additional one and a half centimeter for the bottom um there is a slightly slightly the um the crack or the the void is still visible but it won't be too too disturbing here i'm just marking out where the bottom of the um, the vase will be so when i do the sending i know how far i need to go down to and then i'm on to a lot of hand sending obviously because of the um the extra bark on the side where we still have a little bit of a live edge and the uneven surface of the projects um, didn't really allow me to do sending while the the lathe is also running so I'm on to some nice um, hand sending I took this from all the way from 120 grits up to 400 grits um, and then it was time to part this off from the lathe And we come to the finishing touches, a light sending at the bottom, and we are ready to insert our branding. And the all time favorite part, let's pop the grain and this amazing burl all around the vase. This is just simple mineral oil, but look how beautiful and even just the the other side of the vase is just the grain is popping by applying the oil. I really like the contrast between one side 